South Africa. Last week, our favorite pastor on this show, that is Pastor Penuel Mogoni, the one that gave live snake to his church members to eat. You remember, they call him snake pastor, by the way. He was also the one that put a big loudspeaker on some church members' stomach and then he would jump on it. <laughs> I mean, he also jumps on his church members. Sometimes he will climb the loudspeaker to jump on the church members. And there was a time that he made them eat, maybe it's Brazilian hair, I don't know what, some kind of woman's hair. <laughs> and there was a time that he made them eat clothes. And also, oh yes, there was one time that he drove a car on his church members, as in, he went in and reversed, you know, <laughs> on the church members. Yes, he told them to take off their clothes one time like this, after making them feel warm, supernatural. Oh, father, people were naked inside the church in the name of miracle. Anyway, <laughs> yes, he's been arrested. He's been in the news. I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. Anyway, the man was in the news last week because he realized suddenly that he's a sinner. I'm not making this up. <laughs> you can't make it up. So the 26 year old founder of, I mean, should I just say the daddy geo of uh, End Times Disciples Ministry, that is the name of his church. The guy went to TB Joshua's church in Lagos for deliverance. When I when I, I gave live snake to my congregants to eat, it started when... Wait, wait a minute. Is there somebody telling him what to say? Let me... And then after my message, I demonstrated, I gave them snakes, live snake to eat. Hey, am I the only one hearing this? Play it one more time. And also Romans. The guy is repeating something that somebody is saying. Okay, maybe I'm just the one. Never mind. I don't know exactly what is happening right there. Maybe it's just my ears. So the guy said that he wants deliverance from the spirit that pushed him to engage in bizarre and inhuman actions. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Apparently there's a spirit all along. <laughs> I'm just so happy that he realized that he's been wrong all along and that there's a spirit that had been pushing him. So was he delivered? You don't know, they didn't show where he was delivered. Ah, uh -uh, TB Joshua, it's, it's all like him. Normally they will show us the deliverance. Anyway, now I wish I can tell you that the story ended there. You guys will not believe that when the guy returned back to South Africa, he told journalists that he was forced to say those things. I said for that! He said he was invited and he went there just for a service. But when he got to TB Joshua's church, that they collected his passport, his ID, and they told him you have to do whatever we tell you to do. If not, they will not return his documents to him. I'm like, what what shut up so he said that he had no idea that he would stand before the people to talk that tb joshua forced him to say those things i was not going to nigeria for deliverance so i was surprised when now they organize the testimony even when you can listen clearly the clip that they release on youtube it was not me who was testifying i was saying what the lady was saying wait a minute what you think that was the person we heard My So, I'm really not happy at all because I believe in what I'm doing and I, I know that it is God who was performing what he was doing upon my life. What is going on? I mean, why are some Christians doing stuff like this? Like seriously, this is very shameful. For real though, somebody was saying exactly <laughs> what the guy was repeating. Somebody was saying it. I don't know. I don't understand that. So, journalists contacted TB Joshua's church. TB Joshua's church said that, oh, the guy is just looking for publicity, that he just likes to continue to deceive people. He's an adult and he can't be forced to do anything. The problem is that he just likes to cause a sin. What? So, ladies and gentlemen, they say, what going on right now? It is TB Joshua versus Snake Pastor. Who do you believe? Who lets me know who you believe? This should not be happening in the church of the Lord, in the church. No respect anymore for God. Can you imagine what people are talking? in the church into and this is why a lot of people stop going to church because of dramas like this so let me know who you guys believe tb joshua versus snake pastor you guys i don't know much guess what i'm just keeping it real